Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hope you all are okay. Thank you for the work you sent me in yesterday from looking at the polygons. Hope you all managed to look at the silly video on BBC Bite Size. Um, moving on today, and we're going to be having a look at 3D shapes in a slightly different way. We're not just looking at properties of them and different shapes. We're doing a bit of reasoning, looking at them from all different angles. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen now now i may i've tried to link two videos together because they didn't work very well so i apologize if i am repeating myself i'm going to shrink my screen and show you the slides for today now we're moving on today to reason about 3d shapes now 3d shapes we've done quite a lot of work on 3d shapes lower down the school and this is actually looking at it in a slightly different way it's not necessarily identifying we're looking at them from different angles and seeing the faces and the curves and things that we can see. So on this first part here, you can see Emma who is standing up and then we've got Bella and Aki who are sitting down. Now it says Emma looks at the shape from position A, so she's almost looking down onto the top of the cylinder. And what we want to know is, what can she see? So maybe grab a piece of paper and sketch what you think Emma might be able to see, looking down on that cylinder okay now that one i think isn't too tricky however if we look at then bella and aki if they're looking at the cylinder from the side what will they see that's just, this one actually is a slightly harder one i'm just looking around oh here we go i've got here a candle so here's a cylinder it's a little bit like a cylinder shape not quite but if we were to look at it from one face obviously mine's a bit curved here that would be should be all the same. So what does it look like if you're looking at it from one side? But these kind of questions, if you can go around the house and find things that are of that 3D shape, it might you might find it a little bit easier to visualize, because I have to say, I find this quite difficult, thinking about the face, especially when the edge is a little bit curved. So for this, you could even get a bottle of squash or a can of Coke or anything like that to help you. So let's have a look what they have found. So here is our share. I've kept this on the side so we can see. So this is from Emma's position. Emma is looking down at the top, like from A. And look, when she looks down, she can see a circle. So the face is the circle looking at the top. And we can sometimes call this the plan view. So almost if we were to draw a plan of this shape, what would it look like? It's a little bit like lower down the school we look at a net of a shape and this is how they create them because they have to think about all the different faces. Now Aki and Bella they were looking from the sides and actually this is where it's kind of strange that actually it's a, it is a rectangle in a way because even though it's got a curved surface if you just look straight on it the side view is a rectangle. I found that a little bit strange but that is how it goes. So let's have a look at this think together. We've got a cube here and the cube on each face has been divided into little squares. And it says, which of the shapes A, B and C could not be a view of this cube? This is one of those questions where we have to read it really carefully. I made the mistake actually when I first read this, that I read it as which of these could be the view and actually it's could not. This is where it's really important to read the question and read it again and maybe highlight the important words so you answer it properly. So it's which one could not be a view of this cube? Let's explain why. So A, well looking at it, I think A could be a view because it's got four squares. If I was to look at one side or if I looked at the top, same for B. Now C, that's got six squares on it. I don't think that would be a view of the cube. So definitely C could not be a view of this cube. So there's one you have to be quite careful with. Now I get, oh dear, look, this didn't work very well because I did this as a slideshow and the answers are already there. So it says here, Louis, Andy and Jamie look at this prism from different positions. Describe and draw what they can each see. A little bit like the cylinder one. So Andy's looking from the top. You can see I've drawn here the triangle so it's a triangle shape and Louis and Jamie on the side what can they see so I've drawn a square so you've got some questions a little bit like this to answer today in your power maths books so I wanted to show you a couple of examples before you crack on so here is your work for today this is the 
the right pages. It's called Reasoning About 3D Shapes. And you're going to be looking at the faces on some of them and drawing them or telling the shapes of what they could see. Um, and this is a good one if you can go get some objects around your house to help you a little bit if you find this a little bit more tricky. And again, remember to please um, send me in some photos of what your work look like, looks like at the end so I can put some up on the Friday feedback show at the end of the week. I hope you are all all right though and getting on okay. Remember, if you have any questions, please send me an email and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.